name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we come to celebrate this Eucharistic sacrament, let us now call to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifests your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to Moses. Taking some of the spirit that was on Moses, the Lord bestowed it on the 70 elders. And as the spirit came to rest on them, they prophesied. Now two men, one named Eldad and the other Medad, were not in the gathering, but had been left in the camp. They too had been on the list, but had not gone out to the tent. Yet the Spirit came to rest on them also, and they prophesied in the camp. So when a young man quickly told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp, Joshua, son of Nun, who from his youth had been Moses' aide, said, Moses, my Lord, stop them. But Moses answered him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the people of the Lord were prophets. Would that the Lord might bestow his spirit on them all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts, the precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. Though your servant is careful of them, very diligent in keeping them. Yet who can detect failings? Cleanse me from my unknown faults. The precepts, precepts of, of the, the Lord, Lord give, give joy, joy to the heart. From wanton sin especially, restrain your servant. Let it not rule over me. Then shall I be blameless and innocent of serious sin. The precepts, precepts of, of the, the Lord, Lord give joy to the heart. A reading from the letter of St. James. Come now, you rich, weep and wail over your impending miseries. Your wealth has rotted away, your clothes have become moth-eaten. Your gold and silver 
have corroded. And that corrosion will be a testimony against you. It will devour your flesh like a fire. You have stored up treasure for the last days. Behold the wages you withheld from the workers who harvested your fields are crying aloud. And the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on earth in luxury and pleasure. You have fattened your hearts for the day of slaughter. You have condemned. You have murdered the righteous one. He offers you no resistance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we try to prevent him because he does not follow us. Jesus replied, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me. For, for whoever is not against us is for us. Anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, amen, I say to you, will surely not lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great millstone were put around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Gehenna, where their worms does not die and the fire is not quenched. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There was this one time when I was in the army in South Korea, and we were at the firing range of practicing our marksmanship. Our company deputy commander had joined us to see how the men were doing. And after we were done drilling, he said that he wanted to use the range. And he just wanted to fire one round, and that's it. But before he shoots, he first goes to the end of the range where we place our targets. And there, instead of a target, he places a single cigarette. Then the commander comes back to perhaps about 30 yards. It was a range that was mostly used to adjust your sights, but still to hit a small cigarette from 30 yards, uh, I think, would be very impressive. 
Later, the deputy commander explained that he shot the cigarette as a symbolic action to quit his habit of smoking. And so, yes, he did quit smoking after firing that one round. Now, back then, I thought that the cigarette was the only enemy. And so I thought that when it comes to overcoming a habit, you just say no to the cigarette. But now, after a few years, uh, one comes to realize that when it comes to breaking bad habits, it's not only the cigarette that you confront. Rather, and even more importantly, you confront your own sinful impulses and weakness of heart. These are the things that keep us chained to sin, but perhaps the most strongest thing that keeps us in the captivity of sin is the fear within our very own hearts. Our eyes, hands, and feet may drag us to the fires of Gehenna, but the fear within our hearts, that will grab a cab for you and send you straight to the fires of Gehenna. Because when it comes to saying no to our desires and trying to work courage into our willpower, there comes a lot of fear. We are afraid that we will miss out. We are afraid that we will be deprived of something or someone we love. And more often, we are afraid of becoming depressed. And we are afraid of the emptiness that we will face when we let go. We are afraid of facing the reality of our weakness and the truth that we need help. Overall, we are afraid because saying no to temptation is itself suffering. But that is why Christ is here. He has been there and he has been through it. As a matter of fact, he went to the point of dying on the cross in order to come face to face with sin. And so the next time when there is fear, when fear tries to stop you from walking out the door, that is when you call upon Christ. That is when you turn to the Eucharist and the sacraments. That is when you remind yourself in faith that Jesus of Nazareth had been through that very same challenge. He died, but he rose again. So for us who follow Christ, we will also suffer death. And although we may not experience a physical death, our own ego and our self dies in the struggle against sin. But sin and death will never keep us buried because God the Father will raise us up just as he raised his only son. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now let us offer all our prayers and needs to our Father in heaven. That Pope Francis, Bishop Morlino, and all who minister to the faith lives of others 
will be guided by the Holy Spirit to lead the faithful to know and be grateful of God's work in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all in authority may imitate the goodness of God, who secures justice and respect of the oppressed and less fortunate, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves, that we may be true disciples of Christ by having attitudes of encouragement, tolerance, compassion, and acceptance of the life gifts of others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who endure sickness in mind or body, that in true faith they may know God's healing power, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died, especially Rosanna Heilman, the special intention of this Mass, will be raised to the new life of the resurrection of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God, in his infinite love and mercy, will grant the prayers of our own hearts that we now offer in silence. And for these two, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as we give you thanks for looking after us and always to keep uh, us in your protection, we ask you to listen to our petitions once again through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we share in the vineyard of Jesus Christ, and myself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me of my iniquities, cleanse me from my sin, and lead me to life everlasting. and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, for by for your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set, set us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. This morning, we welcome back as our presider, Father Cham Gong, the pastor of St. Michael the Archangel Parish in Mount Horeb, with worship sites of St. Ignatius in Mount Horeb and Holy Redeemer in Perry. I am Mark Kaisley, and my son Matthew was our acolyte this morning, and we are members of St. Maria Gretti Parish in Madison, and it was once again a great pleasure to share with you in this very special ministry. Mary Clemens, also of St. Maria Gretti Parish in Madison, provided our music ministry. The ministry of enabling the deaf to share in worship was provided by the interpretation of Nancy Hallida and closed captioning provided by the Apostolate. The special ministry of the production and presentation of the weekly television mass for persons with disabilities of all faiths is provided by the generosity, public service, and social concern of the owner, management, and staff of WISC-TV. We thank each of you for taking the time this morning to share in faith, word, and Eucharist with us. Do make it a beautiful week, and may you have the joy of the Lord in your heart and in your life. symbol. 